Hello, so when 3.18 hits live, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do to get myself a load of nice juicy gear and loot, guns, ammo, med pens, food, drink, clothes, pretty much everything that you want to start you off. Because we ain't going to have much credits to start with and buying gear can get expensive when you first start after a wipe but first things first what I would recommend is getting yourself off the planet that you're that you start on because it's a hassle to get off and go to a space station and set your respawn point there so the closest one to me because I spawned in Lawville is Everest Harbour so I'm going to go and make my way there and I'll show you how to set your respawn there. Now what you definitely don't want to do is not pay attention and fly into the space station and lose half of your ship because that would be a really stupid thing to do and you, you'd never catch such an expert pilot as myself doing something like that and what, what you also don't want to do is when you try and land it because the whole thing's jibbled and it's got this talking balance thing popping up all the time blow your ship up as you're trying to dock it you could sort of make up some sort of story about how you meant to do this because you wanted to test what soft death was like and finding out how moving around in the ship while it's completely incapacitated would be you can see a little bit of my ship hanging around there and you don't want to try and fall through the docking bay onto the ground because that won't work and then of course because we didn't reset our spawn point you'd have to wake up then you'd have to catch the train again then you'd have to get your ship then you'd have to undock fly back to the location and then finally dock and we'll just edit that bit out before shall we so when you land you want to make your way to the medical clinic you don't need to get a room um, book a room out you can find one of these little terminals and then you can set your spawn point here by transferring your imprint and now when you die you're going to appear in this space station which is a lot easier to get out because you don't have to catch the train and uh, find your way around the station before you get out. So the space station, you can buy some gear, it doesn't have guns or ammo, but you can buy armour, undersuits, you can get a multi-tool with a tractor beam and things like that here. Just thought I'd have a little look at the prices just to see how much and you can see that some of it's quite expensive and it can add up pretty quick so it's definitely worth spending a bit of time uh, flying around and picking up some free gear. So finally on to the meat of the video, what you want to do is get yourself in a ship and warp around to all the different places on the planets and the moons and start looking for loot boxes. Oh, someone's Avenger Titan didn't do too well there. And get yourself in all the buildings and just have a look for the loot. You're not going to find much resistance in any of these. So it's literally just uh, grab what you can. And now, in 3.18, you can move all. So you move everything into local to start with. And then when you get into your ship, you can move it from local into your ship and then fly off to the next one. The red loot boxes are the ones that you're going to be really looking for. These are the ones that are going to contain the better gear, the rarer loot boxes basically and as you can see I got three guns, four guns, a couple of helmets, a load of mags and a scope as well so that's not bad from one loot box. Now you can do this in pretty much every place that you can land at on a moon or a planet but I highly recommend the ones with farm in the title so if it's got something something farm then and it's got all this sort of farming stuff around and uh, botanical gear and their hydroponics and all of that for some reason they have more red loot boxes 
and nice red strawberries as well or raspberries or space fruit whatever that is and then when you're back in your ship move it across from local into your ship and then basically rinse and repeat so search for the next place to go to fly there pick it up get some more gear loot the boxes transfer the goods over to your ship and then go off to the next place you can if you want to be a little bit cheeky bed log and then log into a different region and then go back in and hopefully there'll be a whole load of new loot in that place but that just kind of breaks the game up you're logging out of the game so I much prefer just flying around from place to place gets you good at landing and flying around and getting used to the controls and also making little tweaks for your joystick and throttle as you're doing it some places will shoot you like this place just fly past it and avoid it in the next video or, the, or maybe the next video the next one of the next videos I'm gonna show you how I go about grabbing all the loot from bunker missions and they're really good for getting loads of gear uh, especially loads of armor and guns because you can loot all their bodies use a tractor beam to drag all the good stuff over towards your ship and then loot it that way which is really good unfortunately those bunker missions don't have like a local space that you can drag stuff to like here so you do have to sort of use a tractor beam to drag the bodies so here I am in the map just looking for all the places which have farm in the title because uh, they're the ones that are going to have the good loot so I'm just kind of plotting a little route where I can warp around grab all the good stuff but don't ignore the other places as well because they do have decent gear in them as well more sort of medical supplies and clothing and food and water which is all worth having especially like rather loot it up and whack it in your ship and whack it in your local station rather than having to buy stuff all the time because that just takes ages and costs a lot more credits so thanks for watching if you've got this far please subscribe and like and all that good stuff you can join our discord if you want any further help as well we're always happy to chat in there and I'll put the link in the description for that one but yeah this is just the best way I found so far when you've got a fresh wipe to go around and get yourself a load of gear like I said earlier it's good practice flying around landing at the different places finding out what's there what kind of loot you get there because you also pick up a lot of loot that you can't buy in the shops like I think that sniper rifle there you can't buy I don't think you can buy a sniper rifle in the shops also you just see there picking up the attachment that goes onto the multi-tool which turns it into a med gun I don't think you can get that anywhere in the shops either I might be mistaken but that's definitely worth picking up all the multi-tools and the med gear as well so let's have a little goosey at some of the stuff that I picked up and as you can see I'm wearing some weird outfit that I haven't actually seen before lots of guns or so over 10 guns lots of armor undersuits and that's only just some of it so thanks for watching and till the next one